I thought it'd be fun to have a concertina that would be more like something an actual early 20th century or late 19th century sailor would play. It wouldn't be one of the more expensive ones, but probably only 20 buttons. Uh, online I saw someone, an article that someone wrote where they took a shoulder concertina and replaced the hand strap with a rope. It wasn't one of these mother toilet seat type, it was one that was more wooden in appearance. So I thought I'd do the same. But there are things I found I didn't like about shoulder concertinas. They never seem to be in tune with the rest of the world. And when I was trying to make a good one out of parts of several of them, I discovered that not all shoulder concertinas are the same size. Also, often the parts would be glued into it, so if you try to unscrew enough parts and pull things out, there's glue holding them together. Uh, the construction isn't all that great. You can see uh, the condition here, there's a crack in that board right there. And also, to make them less maintainable, you always have groups of ten reeds together on what I call a reed plate. Here's one with reeds and valves. Well, Ben, I noticed something on sale online. It was under the brand name Frontalini, and it was rather inexpensive, like 60 bucks or something. So I got this Frontalini one and thought, well, that might be something more like what a real sailor would play. Well, it was actually in tune with the rest of the world and pretty good, except there were problems with the bellows. The uh, gussets near one of the end, if I can find it right here, had some ugly holes in them. So I thought I would set about repairing the holes in the gussets. Oh, here they are. See? But that wasn't very easy to do. Fortunately, another one under the brand name Frontalini was being sold online that looked just like it. And I also found another one that looked a lot like it, probably made from the same factory, sold under the brand name Silvertone. All very inexpensive. Unlike the Shoah concertinas, where all the parts are made out of wood, these concertinas have metal parts. And they're in tune, and the quality of wood seems to be better. See this? Here's part of one, you don't see any cracks in the wood, do you? And instead of having the reeds all arranged on these reed plates, they're all separate like this. A pair of reeds here, one for the uh, intake stroke and one for the outtake stroke. Here you can see them mounted on the reed block like this with beeswax so you can take them off, interchange them for easier maintenance. And after uh, doing some switching out some parts and things, and so instead of having to repair these bellows, as you can see I started repairing them by making my own strap from some leather I got from Tandy Leather Company as well as some hardware. But I was able to find some better bellows, some that were easy to repair and some that were just in better condition. So I ended up with two working concertinas, these two right here, both under the brand name Frontalini. This one had some minor leaks in the bellows, which I was able to repair easily with some patches. There's a patch right there. And there's some other patches, but it's all in tune and all the buttons work. <laughs> Here's the G-Row. So this one I'm keeping. As you can see, I've taken some time to do some patches on the bellows. Then I had this other one, and I thought, well, one's already enough. So I had done some repair on this one. Maybe a little more can be done. All the keys, all the notes work except for this one. I mean, you get this on the pole. But you don't get the high B here. Which I don't really need on most songs. So this one is quite playable. Sometimes this button here sticks a little bit. But I wasn't going to bother repairing this one anymore. Because this one is all perfectly good. I've recorded two videos of some songs played on this one to prove that it is playable. But if anyone wants to go the route of 
a cheap concertina, a cheap 20 button. Um, one route to go is to get like a stodgy 20 button that's new. It might not be cheap, but the quality will probably be pretty good and it'll be playable. Or if you want to do mix and mas matching with parts, then you can look for these that are sold under the brand name Frontolini or Silvertone that, that have here the, the Silvertone end that have ends that look like these and mix and match parts until you get a working concertina. So this to me looks more like something a sailor would play. does have leather straps instead of ropes, but that's a lot more comfortable than ropes.